Hey everyone, welcome to Dr. Ibram Heal. Y'all need a little bit more vegetables in your life, right? So, we're gonna do roasted kabocha squash. Yes, I've made a video about this before, but I'm gonna prepare it a little bit differently. So, yes, technically this is a carb, but it's got less carbs than say butternut squash, which is also good because I mean squash has got all kinds of vitamins, all kinds of fiber, and you know, you can't discount that. All carbs are not the devil, okay? Okay. So they might be a little bit intimidating just because they're just such a tough um, vegetable. So way around that is to poke it with a fork, pop it in the microwave, a couple minutes, and then you're good to go. So I've removed. Hopefully I won't lop off um, any of my fingers. Cut it all the way down. Woo! Ta-da! All right, there you go. So you wanna scoop out the insides and then we'll start slicing. Next, slice them into cubes. All right, so we've got it all cubed up, and now for the sauce. This recipe is from Serious Eats, and it's just two tablespoons of butter, a tablespoon of soy sauce, and supposedly half a teaspoon of togarashi, but I don't have any, so we're gonna use a substitute of chili flakes. Yes, this was from Pizza night. <laughs> so we're, yeah. All right. There we go. Let's put it in the oven. yummy salty savory a little bit spicy I'm gonna have this with some miso glazed cod I'm gonna make later on it's gonna be awesome and you could also use this for meal prep although I'm not very good at that <laughs> but this is delicious so I hope you try it enjoy peace out and while I was waiting I made some leftover kale chips from the kale I had left in the fridge eat your vegetables y'all yeah. 